Popping YouTube, back at it again with another video, man. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe before we get into tonight's content. Uh, y'all read the title, man. Like I said, another nighttime episode. We gonna just get busy, man. Y'all read the title. Let's get into it. Uh, reasons on why you shouldn't pursue a relationship. And these are the indicators that, in my opinion, would have me tell somebody, at least give it at least a thought to give claws to pause before jumping in to a situation that involves another person. Because each time you add something, and not in all cases, but some more times than not, when you add a variable, you feel me, it's just another form of a responsibility that you have to now maintain along with what you already had already so let's get a uh, first thing out the way uh finances now okay this is the, the, the finance thing is a tricky part only because for one you don't want to make it too about the finances because then which really want things to be about between you and the next person gets diluted it gets lost and uh Sometimes it doesn't get recovered and it makes it all about what you have instead of who you are. Now, when you say certain things, you really got to use the word balance a lot because you'll say one thing, but somebody will take it left field or right field. They'll take it all the way to the left, all the way to the right. What I mean is, is like, yeah, you want to have your finances in check, in play, so that way you can do the natural things that men are supposed to do, which is provide that provision. And, and it's beyond that. It's a lot of self, um, self, uh, not only just preservation, but you evolve as a person and as a man when you have these uh, tangible things inside of your equation, your lifestyle, you know, your quality of life. You feel me? Like you have more confidence. You're more. Uh, you know, you just have it, it just amplifies a lot your integrity, your perspective, you know, uh, your drive, everything is just firing on all cylinders. So, when I say finances, I'm not saying tricking off or being somebody that's just gonna be about all about what they have, but what it and this is the biggest point about finances it, it, it says more about what you're willing to do for yourself rather than what you're able to do for the next person. So in order for a person to follow, which women's natural role is to follow, like they have their parts where they lead, you know, but in the grand scheme of things, they're more so following than doing the leading, which is fine. It's just, it's just, it's, just, it's nature. You, you see it in, even in the animal kingdom. So I'm not saying nothing that's, uh, you know, uh, how can I say, uh, sexist or, you know, anything like that. That shouldn't even be explained. But the point is, is you want to have the impression that whatever you're going through, whoever's following behind you is going to be okay because how are they going to be okay if you're not okay? You feel me? It goes hand in hand. You feel me? It's not mutually exclusive. So it, it's just... Uh, you know, like I said, it, it's just one step before the other. Um, another thing is you have to have uh, a journey of self-discovery. And what I mean by that is like you have to go through all the ups, the downs. You have to know who you are, what you are, what you stand for. These are the things that you have to be inclined with before you add another variable because you're going to have to know who they are, what they stand for, and what they're willing to do. You feel me? And if that doesn't align with your overall, you know, uh, bottom line or your big picture, your equation, then these things will be a lot more easier to identify because, you know, why do you think, you know, the term red flags is the thing is because one small behavior, even though the behavior is the same, the actions are different. You feel me? So you'll see one thing just because the action doesn't have a detrimental domino effect that just destroys everything you're more so likely to overlook it because you're looking at the outcome rather than the action itself but when that same behavior gets translated into a more extreme sense 
extent. Then you're more so concerned about, all right, why is this happening to me? Why are you doing this? Who are you? Do you care? When deep down, I don't even want to say subconsciously, consciously, you just suppressed it because you felt like at the time, the good was outweighing the bad. So you were more so dismissive of were small behaviors that you didn't see that was going to, you know, translate into a, a more bigger uh, issue or problem. So self-identification, the journey of self-discovery, knowing how to be alone, knowing how to fend for yourself, knowing how to have the, uh, the, the just the, the uh, you know, the emotional attack intelligence to know how to rely on your own emotions instead of feeling like you need a shoulder to cry on or you need somebody to support you now we're all human at the end of the day we all like that you know pat on the back of self-validation you know these things are just human nature but you want to get more so in tune with who you are and what you are rather than what somebody's able to do for you because then that becomes your identity that becomes what you are and all your potential everything that you see yourself now gets you feel me replaced and substituted for what somebody perceives you as now that could be a good thing in the moment but then as soon as that person changes their mind so does your identity so you never want to tie yourself into what somebody's perspective is now it's okay to take Christian constructive criticism that's why we gotta go back to the word balance you feel me you don't want to be a delusional or you know uh person that's just doesn't have no uh, self-awareness or just not inclined with reality. Like there's a subjective and objective way of looking at yourself and how other people look at you as well. So you don't want to go too far into the subjective where it's, oh, well, I I am what I say I am. You have no tangible, uh, you know, tangible proof supporting or backing that claim up about what you are and how you should feel about yourself. You feel me? Another thing, you feel me? That same thing also applies with the the, the relationship aspect. You want to be able to decipher somebody's giving you good advice with good or bad faith. You know, somebody could sit up there and be like, oh, no, I do, don't do that. And you think that they're coming from a place of, you know, protecting you, but they're actually harming you because they're pushing you out of the way of an opportunity that does have risk just to put you in a more sketchy situation that they didn't even factor in because they're only living in the moment. You feel me? So, um, as another thing on why, uh, you know, you should probably get these things, uh, checked off and, you know, that's where the word integrity is comes into play when you have a certain level of integrity self-awareness you're not easily moved you know you you know your strengths your weaknesses your you know your your, the things you're good at the things you're not good at you know what you are what you are you know what you're not and what you stand for you feel me so uh those two finances and self-discovery is probably the two biggest ones uh, the third one would right now this would probably be the last one. Uh, the third one would probably would have to be, um, just experience, man. Uh, now, it, it this the the experience part differs on the person because some people require more experience than others. Some people are just naturals, and you know, situational wise. They just run into the right person at the right time and they don't have to have that much tread on their tires just to get the ball open or just to be able to develop that traction. You feel me? Uh, For it to go the distance. You feel me? With others, you know, you got to see your likes and dislikes, how you like to be treated, how you don't like to be treated, you know, because you can sit up there and simulate and approximate and try to quantify how you are and what you are towards a person. But if you don't have that much experience and that much feedback for a person to then to sit up there and be like, hey, all right, you covered all the bases of who you are, but then there's another space that's outside of you that you have to take into consideration as well because now it's not only just about you anymore. It's about how the other person feels. So you see how that, 
And, and we go all over. Yet again, one more time, say it with me, balance. Got to have a balance. But the thing about balance is it's not to say that it's 50-50. It's just one way is more than the other. So you have to properly prioritize and place it to where one is not getting in the way of the other. You know, that's why another word is very strong. It's priority, you know, just priority. You have to know how to prioritize and put things in its proper context. So that's why things aren't clashing, but they're doing the opposite of actually working together. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, like I said, man, coming with more heat, man. Coming with more content. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. Like I said, this video done. I'm out of here.